What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing another deck review. I'm really excited for this one because we're going to be looking at the King's Wild Project back to school deck. A um, little bit of insight. This is my first King's Wild deck to ever open and unbox. I've never laid hands on a King's Wild deck before and felt how they handle or what they really look like. Um, if you're not familiar with King's Wild Project, they are a subscription-based deck of uh, a subscription-based playing card company, but you can go on their website and just purchase their decks anyway. I recently just signed up for the subscription, um, and I'm looking forward to the first deck I'm going to be receiving in the mail. I uh, ended up getting this out of a mystery pack from SoCal Playing Cards, and um, I'm really excited to finally get some hands on and see what these feel like, what they look like. I've heard and seen great things coming from this company and um, I'm very happy to be bringing that to you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and sit down and take a look at King's Wild Playing Cards uh, Back to School Edition. Alrighty guys, let's get right into the review of the King's Wild Project Back to School Playing Cards. Um, like I said, this is going to be my first King's Wild deck to unbox and actually get hands on with. Um, I own only a few of these decks. I have a 1982 VHS deck and I have the polka dotted gilded uh, edition of this of this specific deck, um, which I will never open due to the fact that it's very limited and um, I just won't free the pip on that. But I have recently signed up for the subscription and I plan to go ahead and unbox pretty much every deck that I get monthly through their subscription service. I've heard great things about these cards. I've seen plenty of pictures of all their different decks that uh, Jackson Robinson and his team put out and they look absolutely amazing. And I really wanna be able to actually finally get hands on, see and feel what a King's Wild Project deck feels like and looks like. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Um, so, We'll start with the tuck case. It is modeled after a box of crowns, which I think is really creative. We have um, King's Wild, fine quality. Everything is like already before I even crack open the uh, seal, I can feel that it is a nice thick um, stock box. Um, King's Wild Project Inc, Austin, Texas, made in the USA. These are printed by the USPCC. Um, 56 playing cards inside, so we can either expect some a couple of gaffs, maybe some ad cards. We'll see what we get. On the side, we have King's Wild 56 playing cards. On the other side, same exact thing. The back, we have 56 hand colored playing cards uh, for educational card play. King's Wild Project Incorporated, makers of high quality playing cards with the their uh, seal um, right there on the bottom. Top says, King's Wild, and the bottom, of course, says the usual, designed by Jackson Robinson, distributed by King's Wild Project, um, and then, you know, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this open and actually feel the tuck. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Awesome. Toss that to the side. Oh. This feels pretty good already. Um, oh yeah, it's a very nice, like, it's a very quality box already right off the bat. Um, feels good, I can tell it's gonna be thick stock. I really love that this is modeled after a uh, box of crayons. I think that is fantastic. So let's go ahead and, ooh, okay. So right when you pop it open, um, it says number 13 there, but right as you pop it open, you can see um, some crayons here, like it, it's a fresh box of crayons. I think that's really clever. That's probably one of the cards. So let's place that here. Don't have anything on the inside, which is perfectly fine. But um, wow, that is just, I love that. This is a very, very cool box. Like um, I've had some very, I've had some neat boxes in the past, but this one is just like, it's very cool. I like that a lot. Nice. All right, I'll place that aside for now. Um, so we'll go right through these cards. Uh, this first one here is indeed a, um, I don't actually know if this would be considered an ad card. It 
very well might be because it's got the backs it's got the uh, the back of the cards um on one side and then it's got uh some crayons like a picture of some crowns that say king's wild on it this might just be a card for the the look but i guess it could act you could make a trick out of that probably um cool let's go ahead and turn this over now this is what's cool about the deck is if i remember correctly it um like not every deck is hand colored but every um his kids actually colored in all the cards and then they just they recopied them so they have this really really cool um look to them like it actually looks like they're not hand colored right or what I mean by that is they are hand colored, but they only hand colored one deck and then reprinted it. Um, they had to have. There's no way. Yeah, they just hand colored one deck and then they re they mass printed it. But it's still really cool. It looks like they are actually like that. They each deck has been hand colored. So here are the Jokers, which um, let me place this down. The Jokers which both are different in their own right with the uh, color scheme. I think this is really, really cool. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love that they have been hand colored like that. That is so neat. Wow. That is so cool. I'm sorry. Like the jokers have already got me. Um, got the kids names on the bottom that is really really cool and place that to the side so we got the ace of spades all right got the uh, nice large spade with some crayons going through it really cool um then we'll go ahead and go through the the spades here all these spades have been okay yeah. well i'm still on on it about if I'm still on it about if I think there's just no way that these have been hand colored, but like what's cool is there's even, wow, hold on a second. What's cool too is that there's actually like crayon residue on the cards. Like that's printed on the card. That's not like an actual, I don't know if that the camera will pick that up per se, I hope I'm on, I'm even on camera. Like there, yeah, that right there, if it'll focus, like they look like they have, let me see if, crayon residue on them. That That is printed on the card, that's not actual residue. That is really cool, holy moly. <laughs> that is so neat. Wow, okay, so let's get back. We're about to get to the uh, court cards here. So um, here is the Jack of Spades. Wow. Like, these are colored very nicely. I wonder, obviously, like, I can't, like, I don't know who probably colored these, but they, they're done very, very well. And we get into the diamonds. I also like how the paper looks a little, it's not like stark white, you know, it act like it's, it's sort of like got that, that, that drawing paper color to it, which is really neat. And we got, um, Jack of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds kissing Kings. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's got this neat. Thing going up the sword that is so cool oh my goodness that is so neat we're into the clubs suicide king nice uh god they're so the court cards look amazing like jesus we go through the hearts and then yes we have a double backer here 
except it's a little different because um, it's two different uh, color schemes. Have they been, has the colors been inverted? Is that what it is? Oh, okay, yeah, they have. Wait, no, they haven't. Sorry, I'm probably coming off camera. I thought the colors had been inverted, like the colors in these little triangles here get inverted on this side. So like, but that's not the case because this is, this is um, green and yellow and then this is purple and blue. So, but still like neat. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the back, backs of the cards. Oh man, they feel great. Okay, we're good. <laughs> like I can already just say they, they already feel great. So this is the back. It is a um, two-way design, which is good. I always, I like, I don't necessarily want to say that decks that are not two-way designs are bad. By no means am I saying that. I just personally prefer my decks to be two-way. Um, I don't think I actually own any, I'm trying to think off the top of my head real quick. I don't think I actually own any uh, one-way back designs as of right now. I could be wrong because I do have decks that I only have one of that I will probably never open. But anyway, it's a two-way back design. Nice color scheme. I love the, the crayon back. I love that they look hand colored, um, which I keep saying that they look, they are hand colored, but they're not uniquely hand colored. Like every deck was hand colored by somebody, but the original, you know, proof of this was hand colored. I love that. And it looks great. I, man, this is a very good deck of playing cards. I am not disappointed at all. You got this, like, if you spread it, you have this nice ribbon going across, um, the fans, like, they, it looks great. It looks, let's give it a shuffle. Yeah, it feels good. It's funny because I think, I don't, it's funny because it could just be in my head, but I feel like, I feel like the cards actually kind of smell like crayons. <laughs> um, but it could be in my head. It just might be, it just might be the paper the stock used. Um, it it kind of like, I can, I feel like they kind of smell like crayons. Whoops, there goes a the joker. But um, this, this feels like a great deck of playing cards. Um, wow. So I'm going to go ahead and cut for a sec and then we, we will get into more into the handling um, and the feel. And I'll uh, talk about some, some closing notes of the deck. Alrighty guys, let's get right into how these cards handle and some closing notes. So right off the bat, they handle very good. Um, they're printed by the United States Playing Card Company and they handle just like butter. Get some nice, um, nice fans going. And uh, it's printed on, I believe, just their regular stock. It's not a crushed, it's not a crushed stock. It does feel, um, it does feel stiff, which isn't a problem. I mean, I have never had any issues with whether it's printed on a crush stock or a regular stock. It feels great. It looks great. I think it's it's really just neat because it's such a playful style and it's very colorful as well. I love that about them. And like I, I can't stress enough the fact that they just look um, like each individual card has been uh, hand colored and I just love that aesthetic about it. Let's see if I uh, do. Like I, I've said in previous videos, magic is my strong suit. Cardistry is, I don't even want to say fair second by any means. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it behind the scenes to, to learn, uh, you know, some of the beginner cardistry moves. And hopefully as time goes by, I'll, uh, I'll be able to start doing a little bit more than some fans and... And um, that was my attempt at a riffle fan. Some card springs. Let's see if, uh, let's go ahead and do a snap change. <laughs> so, but yeah, they handle great. They look great. You can pick these up for $15 on kingswildproject.com. Um, as well as several other sites out there sell them. 
Um, for the most part, they're 15 bucks anywhere. You might get lucky and find a couple of sites that might be selling them for a couple of dollars cheaper, or maybe you can get 10% off if you're not fully on board for spending $15 on a, uh, on a deck of playing cards. However, I would say when it comes to should I buy this deck, I would say yes. It handles great. It looks great. I, um, I'm a big fan of it. I will definitely be picking up a couple of more just to uh, have for the future if I wear this deck out. Um, but yeah, it is a very, very neat and unique deck. And that's what you can, uh, that's what I feel like you will expect from King's Wild Project. Um, like I said, I just recently signed up for the subscription because um, I ran across them probably of March of this year. And then I toyed with, do I start at the beginning of a new year or do I just start now? And I, I spoke to some people and they told me it's cool just whenever you start. The decks are all badass and when they come out, they, they look amazing. And they're absolutely right. They're very unique. They're very artistic. I love that every deck is created from the ground up. Um, so you're getting this like brand new experience for every deck that you're receiving through the subscription or that you're just buying from the website, even if you're not subscribed. So definitely yes, if you can, if you, if this fits what you like for a deck of cards, the colors, the style, I definitely say pick up uh, a couple of these for your collection and to, to perform with. And, um, but yeah, great job Kings Wild, Jackson Robinson. Great job on the deck. I look forward to uh, reviewing some of the newer decks that I'll be receiving over the coming months uh, from you guys. And I hope you guys tune in and check it out. So other than that, have a great, have a great day. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll have links to Kings Wild's Instagram uh, so you can check out more of their content there, as well as links to my Instagram where I post video, uh, videos of card tricks or pictures of my ever-growing card collection. So feel free to stop by and give us a follow there. Other than that, have a great day, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.